Hey, what's up everybody? Kim Klasik here. So I just want to talk a little bit more about critical race theory. I mean, let's face it, because it's such a hot topic for our progressives these days, we're probably going to be talking about critical race theory for quite a while. And so I'm so happy to be someone that is talking about it often, especially in the media. Um, I was quoted many times talking about the fact that I said that critical race theory is a conspiracy theory. I absolutely believe that. We all know hard work, a good education, and that love, tender, and care at home will get you where you need to go, right? As long as you want to reach your potential, as long as you study hard, as long as you work hard, you're going to get there. It doesn't matter about the color of your skin in America. That's why this country is so great. That's why we have immigrants of all colors basically trying to get here any way possible because they know that. So I know I talk a lot about Nigerians uh, being the most successful ethnic group in America. So I just wanted to bring a stat to you uh, because, of course, I've been looking into this deeper considering the fact that I'm now talking about critical race theory all of the time. So Nigerians, believe it or not, 29% of Nigerian Americans have PhDs. 29% of Nigerian Americans have PhDs. Now, you're probably saying, okay, Kim, is that great? That's fantastic. That's fantastic. Think about this. 11% of the overall U.S. population has PhDs. 11%. Nigerians, 29%. They're killing it. Nigerians are killing the game. They are successful, they succeed, and it is because they know a good work ethic, a decent education, and what is it? Parents at home that make their kids take personal responsibility for their futures. Parents at home that involve themselves in their child's education. Believe it or not, when I take my daughter to the library, and we go to Essex Library in Maryland, not all of the time since COVID, but we used to go all the time, at least every other Tuesday. Believe it or not, we, my daughter and I, weren't the only black people in the library. The other black children that were there were African immigrants. That's where they spend their time, at the library. You know where you can read all these books for free? At the library. It costs nothing. You can go in and learn something. You can go in and teach your child something. We have these kind of opportunities in America. These privileges we don't usually talk about because we don't even think about it. Think about that. Having libraries, how amazing. Nigerians are killing the game. Critical race theory is absolutely a conspiracy theory.